Y'all gonna take me away. So welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm trying out a new collection from Kiko Milano. This collection is called Tuscan Sunshine and it honestly looks so pretty. I kept a few of the packaging just so that you could see what it looks like and honestly this doesn't even touch on how beautiful the packaging of the actual products are. For instance, I mean it is just absolutely stunning. This is so feminine and pretty and warm and rich and yeah I'm just really excited to get into it. If you guys did not see my review of the Ocean Feel collection. I'll go ahead and pop it up here for you. That collection is honestly the entire reason that I wanted to try this out. At least half of the products that I used I continued to use for months and months and I still reach for them to this day like the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, the eye pencil, just so many other products. The lipsticks were good so I was really keen to try out this collection and see what it looks like. So I've got a little bit of everything. I got the Luminous Foundation. I just got one of the glosses. I just thought this color would be really pretty. I got the Nourishing Lip Oil, which I'm about to put on my lips right now. I also got the Perfecting Powder, which looks like this. I also got the bronzer in the collection, which is stunning. Packaging, again, is beautiful. Please ignore my stubby fingernails. Like, half of them broke off, so I was just like, you know what? Let me just trim them all off, and I've been too lazy to paint my nails. The blush is gorgeous. This is a little scented, kind of like... I don't know, citrus floral is what I'm smelling. We have a small eyeshadow palette, which I'm going to try out today. And this beautiful face palette. Just stunning. Beautiful. Can't wait to dive in. And I also have six lipsticks. So I'm going to do a try on with the lipsticks towards the end of the video. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So some of this I got on Ulta because I had so many points. The rest of it I got on their website, which they were having a sale at the time. So I feel like I did really good getting all of this stuff and not paying too much. And they already have a new like summer collection coming out. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I just got this stuff. All right, so let's start with the Nourishing Lip Oil. My lips are dry as per usual, so I'm going to put some of this on. It's a Nourishing Lip Oil with Presopis and Pink Helichrysum. It's enriched with a fresh bouquet of petals and delicately scented with floral notes. So if you take a close look, there is like little petals kind of floating in there. That's kind of cool. A little slanted doe foot applicator. It's not overly scented, just a little tiny bit of scent, but it feels very like plush. It has like a little cushion to the lips, if that makes sense, but it feels really nice and comforting. All right, let's move on to the foundation. Now, I got the shade Ivory. I'm guessing that's probably the lightest shade. Now, there are only eight shades in this, and I recently saw some like comments on the newest collection just stating that the color range of like the bronzers and stuff wasn't very good. They had some different colors, don't get me wrong. Like they had bronzers that are far too deep for me, but I didn't really see like an ultra rich dark bronzer. Unfortunately, it's something that happens with a lot of cosmetic companies just throwing that out there but they range from shade ivory to shade cocoa now they look like they have a really nice deep dark option but once again with only eight shades it's very limited you cannot expect for everyone to find a color it's going to be one of those where you're kind of like making a shade work rather than it actually being your perfect shade it's a moisturizing foundation with medium coverage ideal for giving the face an even and radiant complexion in one simple step it says it's extremely sensorial and comfortable on the face gives the skin a sophisticated luminous finish and is easily buildable and it's non-comedogenic dermatologically tested. So this is luminous. It's very fluid. <laughs> Can you hear that? I chose to conceal around my brows with the NYX Born to Glow Concealer because this one is somewhat luminous. It doesn't dry down super matte and then I'm going to use this under my eyes as well just because I needed to pick a concealer option. Now they have with this foundation kind of like a little dropper on the tube which I actually like. So if you hold it Apparently I wanted to put foundation on my boobs today. So I'm going to try a sponge. I swear the yellow beauty blender is a little bit more porous than the typical one, but you know. And no, I'm not putting the tip to my face. I'm just putting it really close so that I can drip it onto my skin. Okay, I'd say this foundation is pretty light. I feel like people who are a little bit lighter than me could definitely make this work. As always, when I put it on my skin, it looks a little bit too light, but when you compare it to my neck, 
there's hardly a difference at all. I'm definitely seeing it looking more sheer. I'm seeing a lot of my imperfections, like just my natural skin peeking through. Obviously you can soak up less foundation using a brush. I'm gonna drip a little bit more here where I have all this discoloration. And I'm gonna use this core diffuser brush that's really, really dense in the middle. So if anything, it should leave most of the coverage. Now that is Streak City. Like I've used that brush many times. It gives a pretty good application that's always my thing I don't like about brushes is that, you know, I can always see those little streaks or swirls or something. I feel like this is almost like matching the concealer, which is a little unfortunate, but it's just a little light. But you know, with eight shades, I just have to think that the next shade up is gonna be a little bit dark. This one may be a little bit light. So unfortunately, I'm just kind of in that spot where not one shade is going to be perfect. The foundation isn't looking bad. This is saying that it is a medium coverage. I kind of argue with that because I feel like it definitely starts out more sheer. I may be able to kind of build it up to medium, but if if I have to add foundation in my cheek area three times, it's just not really doing what I want it to do, you know? That being said, if you're looking for something that is more sheer, I think you could easily apply one layer of this. I can definitely see this being like a normal, like daily makeup. I feel like the finish so far is more natural finish. I don't feel like this is overly luminous. I'm going so slow. Now that we know what the coverage is like, I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra coverage. So we're just going in. Okay, so the perfecting powder with fixing and highlighting properties, enhancing your natural skin and achieving a radiant natural finish. It's sheer and ultralight texture suits every skin tone, silky and weightless, innovative formula with illuminating particles makes skin appear flawless and helps makeup last longer. Perfect for touch-ups, it can be used several times throughout the day thanks to the handy integrated mirror. Okay. I can't wait to use the bronzer because I'm looking pale. So again, this is the powder. First, you have to admit, like it is really pretty. I mean, you don't wanna to touch that, right? But I'm interested to see if this actually goes on completely transparent, what it looks like. So I'm gonna dip a kind of like highlighting size brush into the powder. I think this will be nice to set like my entire face with, but for my under eye, I feel like I need just a little bit something else. So I'm gonna use the powder I've been loving, which is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. I don't find that this powder though is really that dry or mattifying. I actually love it because it's super smooth under my eye. So I'm just gonna dip a big brush into this perfecting powder. I'm really like wondering if this is gonna serve any real purpose in my routine. I am like scrubbing my brush in and that like print on it has not budged whatsoever. It feels nice though. My face doesn't feel tacky anymore. It's just enough powder to like help set everything down. The perfecting powder goes for $18. And I also didn't tell you guys the foundation goes for 22. So very affordable. I need bronzer because I will be utterly distracted if I do not bronze my skin. So I got the Radiant Bronzer number one, Sweet Honey. Now their bronzer before in the Ocean Pill collection was beautiful, stunning. It was a little bit more of a luminous bronzer where this one appears to be matte. See, this picks up product. Woo, I'm a little scared. Oh yeah, that blends so well. Something about their bronzers in particular are so smooth and I don't have to worry about it sticking and not wanting to blend or not transitioning smoothly down the forehead because I always bronze a good bit on the forehead because, you know, a little extra real estate. And I am taking this bronzer like in all my contour areas, but I'm really going to kind of like blend it all the way in if that makes sense. So using the most product in those areas where we want the shadows and then blending all that product together, it's not gonna be like a line, it's gonna just fade out. That's the goal, right? I usually bitch about fragrance in any product, like I'm like, why does it cut that fragrance in it? But honestly, this is very light. Yes, I would prefer products with no fragrance in them whatsoever because it's not a ingredient that helps it look better or feel better or anything like that. It just kind of has that sensorial experience. Sensorial. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is like a blending brush for eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna go on the sides of my nose. That bronze. Fixed it. I'm gonna get started on my eyes. This is our little palette. This is number two, Spring Awake. I think they had two different colors. So this little guy goes for $18. I'll show you the shades up close. It says, is there a pleasure to apply and leave your eyelids feeling pampered? 
It includes a combination of eyeshadows with different finishes and on-trend shades, easy to blend. It's compact, handy, perfect for on-the-go touch-ups, enhances your eyes. Ophthalmologically, ophthalmologically, ophthalmologist, ophthalmologist, ophthalmologically, ophthalmologically, this is like one of those five words that I have a problem with. Ophthalmologically tested, ophthalmologically. This is a very simple palette to work with. There's not a ton of colors to get you stressed out on what to do. I'm gonna take this shade Blossom and we're gonna pop that here. I wish this also had a mirror, I'll just say that, because if you're traveling or you're on the go, it's really nice to have a mirror to use up close. This is obviously kind of close to my skin tone, so it's not gonna be like crazy showing up pigmentation, but it's really pretty. Now I'm taking a Suva 420. The first one was a Sephora brush, but those brushes are changes, so it doesn't matter. And I think I'm gonna take Valley, which is the middle top row. This is more of a pink, and I'm taking it on a little bit more like smaller compact brush. Okay, she's got some pigment. This also seems to be one of those shades that's got like this little fine shimmer in it that usually when you start to blend out, it just disappears. That's crazy. Um, it's like that pigment like was there and then it was gone before I knew it. Like we're packing in. It's colorful. I'm gonna very gently blend. Where'd it go? Once more. <laughs> Cause I'm like, what's happening? I'm gonna pack. Looking good. Just looking like we need a little blend. This is a featherweight brush, very soft. Okay, let's try a different shade. I'm gonna take Sculpture, which is this one right here. I'm gonna try it kind of in that same general area, try to darken up the crease. All right, so I did a little bit more work. It just seemed like the Valley and Sculpture, the pink and this more like Sienna color, just kind of like brushed away as you tried to blend them in, but it turned out okay. It just took a little bit more layering than I was really expecting. So I went ahead and finished this eye as you can see and I went ahead and did my lower lash line. So I put Liberty and Etruria? How the hell? Etruria? Etruria. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever that shade is. I took both of the shimmers and I put the lighter here, a little bit more golden on the lid. So I did go ahead and put just a little bit of concealer there so it was tacky. I tried first just the shimmers to see how they did, but they didn't really show up all that much, so I just added a little bit of concealer. That's Liberty. It's more of like a shiny, light, light, light pink. I don't know how the hell you pronounce that. Etruria is a little bit more bronzy gold. And I'm just going to add some mascara. I'm using NARS Climax. They did have a mascara with this collection too, but I just couldn't be bothered to buy a new mascara. Sorry, if you guys want like mascara reviews, let me know. Like I'm definitely more keen to try drugstore ones. There's so few mascaras that actually like live up to the hype. I'm getting like Tuscany vibes in it because it's soft, but golden and warm and just really pretty, but not overdone or over exaggerated, just really pretty. You know what I'm saying? So that is it for the eyes. I do like this little palette actually. It's very pretty, very good for travel when you know what you're looking for. Oh my God, I actually meant to use this shade in my outer corner but I just felt like it was done the way it was. It's really pretty and soft. So I guess if you want to amp it up for nighttime, that is the shade Sienna. So the blush has a little bit more pink where the other one is like an orangey golden. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. So this is the blush when it is kind of like a dual tone blush. It looks really pretty and soft. So I'm going to actually take this Milani. It's a powder bronzer brush. Go for a little bit of a heavier blush look, kind of like diffused. I'm thinking like sun drenched, really pretty, maybe a little flush from the heat and the sun. Gorgeous! I'm doing a bad job. I'm doing a bad job of telling you guys the prices of everything. I'm pretty sure the blush was also 18, as was the bronzer. Yes, indeed, all 18. And last time the bronzer came in like a really giant packaging that was really bulky. And even though I loved it, I was like, oh, I wish I could store this regularly. And now they actually did that. So the bronzer came in a more small packaging that I can fit into like all my organizers. So I love that. And then we do have a face palette. I know we've already done, you know, a lot to the face, but 
this face palette is gorgeous. This goes for $22. Again, not bad when you consider everything you get. It looks like we have two highlights and two blushes. One blush is a little bit more luminous. This is matte and then the highlights look really pretty. So let me go ahead and swatch these highlights. Basically like the eyeshadows, like one's a little bit more pinky metallic and the other one a little bit more golden. So I'm feeling like the pinky is going to do better for me. I think the golden may be a little bit too dark for me. So that highlight is called Geoconda. Like, I don't know any of these words. I was expecting it to show up a little bit more like glowy in your face type of highlight, but it's actually pretty soft. I'm going to dip into that golden one called Golden View. Just a little bit. It's pretty like it's not crazy intense highlight like some of them out there but it actually turns out really beautiful and it hugs the skin it's not creating a lot of texture which I love which is something I liked about the other one I've tried from them too oh it's so pretty it made my skin look so juicy and honestly the way everything came together it's making me like the foundation more because the concealer added just that little touch of extra coverage while the rest of my skin can remain looking just kind of like natural it's still not crazy luminous but you know it's got a little luminosity to it but the highlight really just went like bam and brought everything together i'm loving it i think i want to spruce up my blush a little bit with something from this palette just to say that we tried it out i'm gonna try sunrise which is the more luminous one if you want to look glowy and flushed and beautiful All right, so the glosses went for $10. There were multiple shades, but I got the shade number two. I'm gonna try the gloss on by itself so you guys can see it, and then we may use it to top a lipstick as well. $10 gloss. I could totally just go with this gloss and be absolutely done. But we got some lips to swatch, so let's do it. I'm not trying to have you guys here for seven hours, so I'm just going to go in with the lip color. I'm not going to worry about it looking perfect. I just want you to see the shades because we have six of them. So the packaging is a little bit chunky, but it feels very nice. It feels like it has a nice weight to it, and they do have a magnetic closure. Now the lipsticks are $14 a piece, and there are six shades. The first shade, number two, is called Renaissance culture that's really pretty it's actually very close to the color of the gloss it says it gives your lips color and a sophisticated shine enveloping highly pigmented jasmine scented formula is that jasmine? It's nice. It melts beautifully onto the lips, boasts an intense even color release, creamy consistency gives instant comfort, and it's extremely easy to apply. I like the shape of this, honestly. I know not everybody likes a bullet like this, but that's the lipstick. It's just like a plain slant. No complaints so far. I like that color. So again, that's number two, Renaissance Culture. Shade six is called Country of Wine. And here is the color. It's really pretty. Looks like a wine shade. As always, be sure to let me know which one is your favorite on me and if you're going to pick up anything from the collection. I'm always curious what you guys like on me because it's typically like different than what I like. If we could all see ourselves through others' eyes, you know, just the, I don't know. Am I making sense? I doubt it. But you know, you guys like things on me that I don't typically like reach for and maybe I should. Let me know. That's a really pretty color. It's like a rich berry wine shade. I like it. Number one is called Volterra Heels. And this looks like a very pretty nude. Oh, yes. This one feels even creamier than the other ones. Calgon, take me away. I love the shade. Like, that comes as no surprise. It's a little cooler than, like, my eye look. But if I had added that purple, it would actually, like, kind of go a little bit better. But this is a beautiful lip color. This is, like, everyday pinky nude perfection. I will not be surprised if this winds up being my favorite, but it's definitely my favorite so far. Right, I'm going to skip to number five, which looks a little bit brighter. This one is called Romantic View. It looks like it has a little bit more of a deeper, like, rosy pink. Oh, it's like this very muted fuchsia in a way, but definitely like softer, obviously. I would love this lip with a more like neutral eye, just be like a little like pop of color, but also understated at the same time. It's not loud, but it's colorful. So, hmm. so that's romantic view. Number four is called Damask Red. Oh, she's a bright. Look at that shade right there. Ooh. This is a good summer color. 
as always, I love orangey reds, so definitely not surprised that I love this one so much. That's so pretty, and it feels like so juicy and creamy. All of them feel really, really nice on the lips. You know, 14 is not a bad price for these because I feel like they're really good quality, and the same way with the Ocean Feel collection, like, they just felt good on your lips, and they're very pigmented, so... Hmm, I like this one too. All right, let's see if I saved the best for last. Number three, this is Flowers Field. And I just kind of took a guess at what would be kind of like appropriate with the eye look or what would go. So we're gonna see if I guess correctly. Oh, this one's pretty too. It does go really, really well with the eye look. What do you guys think? For me, number one and number four, the nude and the really pretty red orange that I just tried on are my favorites, but I actually really like this one as well. And honestly, surprisingly, like I like them all, but I definitely pick number one and number four as my favorites because you've got a perfect everyday nude and then you've got this bold, beautiful summer color that with just like a simple eye, just as like that statement lip would be so pretty. So honestly, I'm very impressed with everything. My favorite is definitely the lips and the face palette. The blush and the bronzer are beautiful as well. Like basically any of their face products, I always really love. The foundation, I actually like. If you want sheer to medium coverage, that's more of a natural finish, maybe slightly luminous, then I think you could definitely give this one a try. And it's, you know, a little bit higher end without spending $50 on a foundation. So the eyeshadow palette, I liked, but I can't say that like, oh my God, you need that. For the price, you could definitely get a bigger palette with a lot more shades. It did turn out really pretty. Like you can't deny it's like soft and just mm, it's really pretty so I feel like I look very summery now I feel like I should be eating outdoors at a cute little cafe or something like how pretty okay so I really like everything if you have questions about any of the products leave them below let me know which lip color was your favorite and if you see anything in this collection that you are dying to pick up I would love to hear from you guys also if you enjoyed this video be sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell as well that will give you some notifications maybe to my videos I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys really soon in my next video bye guys